the M96 engine was first introduced with the Porsche Boxster and then later with the Porsche 911 996. Besides being an all-new engine, the M96 engine is unique in that it uses a three-piece crankcase with a separate crankshaft carrier. The carrier is sandwiched between the two case halves that contain the cylinders, water jackets, and through coolant and oil passages. An industry first was Porsche's use of Kolben Schmidt's new Locasil process for casting of the engine's case and integral cylinder sleeves. The simplest way to explain Locasil is to describe it as localized alusil. For those not familiar with alusil, it is a hyper-eutectic high-silicon content aluminum alloy that eliminates the need for iron cylinder sleeves or expensive cylinder bore platings or coatings. Starting with the 996.2, the Locasil 2 process was used. With Locasil 2, silicon content was increased to 25% and alumina was replaced by an inorganic binder of less than 1%. Silicon particle sizes were increased to a maximum size of 120 micrometers. Like prior Porsche horizontally opposed engines, the M96 engine also utilizes an intermediate shaft, however that's where the similarities end. Porsche used a sealed ball bearing rather than an oil pressure fed plain bearing like what was previously used. Furthermore, to allow for a single cylinder head casting that could be used on both sides of the engine, the IMS also was redesigned with a chain drive on both ends. The inclusion of variable camshaft timing with the M96 engine was a first for a Porsche production horizontally opposed engine. For Porsche Boxster models through 2002 and Porsche 911 996 models through 2001, what is referred to as the 5-chain M96 engine was used. The 5 chain engine utilized VarioCam F1 variable camshaft timing similar in design and function to what was used in Porsche 968 models. Porsche 911 models in 2002 and Porsche Boxster models in 2003 were changed to a simplified 3 chain VarioCam system with a vane cell adjuster that allows for increased adjustment over the previous design. In addition to variable camshaft timing, Porsche 911 996.2 models also received variable lift in 2002 which was carried over to later models including the M97. Another carryover from the 9 to 68 was the inclusion of an air oil separator, which varies slightly between Boxster, Cayman, and 911 models, but they all serve the same purpose. Other firsts for Porsche with the M96 engine include the use of crack cap connecting rods, and the lack of a true dry sump lubrication system. Porsche's integrated dry sump is in essence a wet sump engine with the addition of scavenge pumps in the cylinder heads to aid in returning oil to the sump. Many of the changes made by Porsche with the introduction of the M96 engine were intended to reduce manufacturing costs and further differentiate these models from the more expensive GT2, GT3, and turbo models which use a water-cooled variant of the Mesger engine previously found in air-cooled 911 models. With all that being said, then what is the difference between the Porsche M96 and M97 engine? In essence, there is very little to differentiate both engines. Both internally and externally all M96 and M97 engines appear the same, with displacement and engine output being the biggest difference. Starting with the 2005 Porsche 911 997S 3.8 liter engine, small changes were made to the M97 engine that was used through 2008 by Porsche in Boxster, Cayman, and 911 models. Although there are a few exceptions, most M97 engines receive the larger, non-serviceable 2006 to 2008 IMS bearing, which replaced the smaller problematic and failure-prone single-row intermediate shaft bearing. The engine case casting process was once again changed with the M97 engine, which utilized the Locasil 3 process. The oiling system was also revised with the M97 engine, swapping out the M96 oil return swirl pots for a simpler design that slings the oil against the sump wall to deaerate the engine oil. Porsche also eliminated the oil dipstick, relying solely on the electronic oil level sensor to determine oil level. The only other major change was to the 3.4-liter engine used in 2006 to 2008 Cayman S as well as in 2007 and 2008 Boxster S models, which received the same variable lift as found in 2002 and later Porsche 911 M96 and M97 engines, in addition to variable camshaft timing. 
Both M96 and M97 Porsche 911 engines were available with an optional X51 power adder package including performance heads, camshafts, and revised oil control baffle, among other bolt-ons, however the original engine short block is retained with no changes. As with all things Porsche, many parts have been revised over the years, allowing for incremental improvement. Usually, the last two digits of the part number indicate revisions, but these changes do not fundamentally change the design of the M96 or M97 engine. With the introduction of the 2009 model year, Porsche introduced the ML1 engine, also referred to as the 9L1, which was again a completely new engine that shares nothing with the prior M96 and M97 engine that it replaces. Call or visit ellenengineering.com to learn more.